Hey everybody, so in this video of the Linux fundamentals, we're going to dive a little deeper into security and what all of those RWX, everything, what that means on the files, on the directories. So as you can see, right, we went through read, write, execute, read, execute, read, execute and how how we can manipulate those and change those and then the owner and then the group. So let, let's look at how we can change something in here. Let's go into test three, CD test three. And remember we can always do this. I can even do, I can do this test three and that will take me there because it's, it puts my home folder in there. And you see, if I just type that, then it just, it substitutes it with home Chris R. Okay. So in this folder, we have a few test files. What we'll do is we'll change the permissions. Right now, the owner has read write, the group has read, and others, everyone has read. Okay, we may not want that. We may want to take away the other group and remove them from having any type of, of access, right? So that, that's an option, right? So first off, let's add execute. So if I do ch mod, change mode basically, and then do plus x, sorry, plus x, this will add it to everybody. This will add it to everybody. Everybody in the group will get this. So test file one. So LL, and now you can see test file one is an executable file by everybody. Each group got it. So what I can do also is change mode minus X. Let's move my cursor there test file one there and now I've removed it from all groups so I can also so this is this is nice I can do this the group plus X so that's just going to give execute to the group on test file one test file one LL. And there you see the group as execute. And you can also see I'm using the up arrow to see my commands. You can also do that to run your commands that you've recently run. That's a very useful thing to be able to do in Linux. So if I just go back here, I can say group, I can say owner plus X and then LL. Now the owner has it. I can say group minus X. So now you can see oh the O yeah I'm sorry the O is the other right? Because it, there you can see it added, it added right there. So if you wanted to do it for the user, you would do you. That's right. So now, now the user has it and other has execute on that test file. And you can see it changes the color to green. So that's how you just add and remove. So let's say we wanted to add Let's see what we have. 
let's clear the screen. Let's LL. Let's add right to the group. So that's going to be change mode group plus W on test file one. And there it is. The W is now added to that. All right, so that's how we use change mode. So that's one way of using it. So there's also another way, though, using using numbers. So here's how this works. So change mode 755. Five. You'll see this one a lot. Test file 1. So what this is going to do is it's going to give read and execute to other. That's this last 5. Middle 5, I should start at 7. So 7, because these 3 are 4, 2, 1, right? Each 3 is 4, 2, 1. So if I wanted all 3 of them, it'd be 7. If I want read and execute, that would be 4 and 1. So that's 5. If I want... 4 and 2, that's 6. That's, that's read write. So that this is actually going to be 7, 6, 5. And I'll, I'll show you that in a second, right after we do this one. So this is going to be 7, read, write, execute, and then read, execute, read, execute. So there it is. Read, write, execute, read, execute, read, execute. All right, so if we want to turn it back to what it was, all we have to do is seven, six, five, and you can see that returns it because there's the seven, four plus two plus one, four plus two, six, and four plus one, five. So that's how you would do that. So often you see, so this is if you want to change everything at once, 7, 5, 0. Also another common number that you will, you'll use. And what that does is read, write, execute for the owner, read, execute for the group, and nothing for other. So a little bit more security there. Okay, so now if we want to see the directory that we're in, what the security is, what you can do is you can go up and just do an LL, and there you see it. It's read, write, execute, read, execute, read, execute. But you can also do it right from where we were. And if we do, we can also do this to go back to where we were. That'll take us right back, CD dash, space dash. So we do an ls-ld, and that will show us the security of the directory. See, it has a d there, and there it's the same thing as this. So two different ways to do that. OK. Next. Let's take a look at change owner. So you can see the owner right here, Chris R, Chris R. And you know what? We'll do that in the next video. So thank you for watching, and I, I appreciate it.